Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Uh, you're looking at some uh, chili here. Now, uh, I'm going to make uh, the chili paste for ikan bakar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to make this into two separate videos. The first video is I'm going to make this uh, chili paste. Show you how to make the chili paste, the ikan bakar chili paste. Uh, and I'm going to grill, use it on the grilled fish. Uh, it's a ikan, I'm using an ikan senangin, a very f uh, common dish you can find in Malaysia. Okay, the meat is very tender and very sweet, and I just butterfly cut. Yeah, butterfly cut it, and I'm going to use oven to grill it. Of course, if you don't have oven at home, you can just simply pan fry using some uh, a bit of oil. Okay, pan fry is perfectly fine. Okay, uh, let's. Then after that, uh, I'm, watch, I'm going to make a second video on uh, using the same chili paste to fry uh, my uh, lady's finger, yeah, okra or kacang bendi. So first of all, uh, let's look at what, how to make the chili paste here. Uh, I have one uh, bowl, one bowl of uh, uh, dried chili soaked until it is totally softened. Okay, so we have rehydrated the dried chili here um, then I have one big spoonful a uh, tablespoonful of asam paste uh, this is one big spoonful of uh, turmeric powder you can also use fresh turmeric uh, I don't like fresh turmeric because it, even though it's more fragrant but it's very difficult to wash okay then after that I have one big spoonful of this is the uh, blachan powder uh, how do you make blachan powder uh, usually when you buy the whole block of blachan, it comes with a block like that, like a tofu block. Then I will actually uh, pan fry uh, without using any oil, uh, slowly dry roast it until it becomes powder form like this. And then after that, I will keep the whole blachan powder in my fridge. Yeah, This is how I do it. And we have some rehydrated uh, dried shrimp, yeah? the small uh, udang. I have... Uh, Two fresh chili here. Uh, this is approximately uh, two centimeter of galangal or blue ginger. This is about two centimeter of uh, old ginger. I have four cloves of garlic. Uh, similar amount of uh, shallots. Okay. So uh, using this ingredient, we are going to make the. Uh, we are going to blend everything together. Okay, I have a hand blender here. So first of all, let's put in the dried chili. We can mix it. Put things into different layers so that you can uh, keep some space. Yeah, then it's easier to uh, blend. Dried chili. Okay. Then I'm going to put in the blachan powder. This is the dried shrimp but re uh, rehydrated, meaning uh, soak until it is softened. Okay. I'm left with uh, the turmeric powder and also asam paste. You can put it now or you can put it later. Up to you, no problem. Uh, I'm going to just put it now. Okay. And to ease the blending process, I'm going to add oil. Many people like to add water. Mm, but it will take you longer to uh, saute your blachan later so I'm going to add oil and don't worry about the excessive oil now that I put in because if I put more oil here later in the wok we want, when we want to uh, uh, fry the sambal uh, I can put lesser oil okay so it still works out to the same to be uh, the same okay get up uh, let me see
Okay, let's see. Right, then we get a paste like a chili paste like this, and we can start uh, sorting this. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, since I'm making uh, fish here, I'm probably going to uh, grill my fish first. Okay, so uh, you take out your the tray from your oven, uh, use uh, aluminium foil. Um, you should always face the uh, shiny part, yeah, the shiny part against your uh, towards your ingredient. And I have put a small, uh, a very thin layer of oil on top of this. Okay. Then uh, here's my uh, melted fish uh, skin facing down. Okay, I have the oil at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, apply some oil on top as well. Okay, I've marinated the fish with some salt here. Alright. So uh, then preheat your oven for uh, at, uh, at least 10 minutes for about two, uh, 230 or 250 degree. Up to you. Okay, we need high heat. Okay, once your oven is Heat it up, you can take it out carefully, slowly put in your fish. Okay, close it and give it some 15 to 20 minutes depending the size of your fish. My fish today is about uh, my fish today is about 500 gram. Okay, so it will take probably between 15 to 20 minutes for it to be fully cooked. So I will come back later to check. Yeah, so use higher seat to 250 degree to uh, grill the fish, and you can add fan if you like. It's really up to you. Uh, let me add some fan on top. This is, nah, I think it's okay. This is my new oven. I don't really know how to use it. Okay, I'm using some fan on top. Right, so uh, we just come back shortly after this. Okay, let's start sorting our chili paste. Give it some good amount of oil. Don't worry about the excessive oil later, yeah? This is supposed to have a lot of oil. And then even uh, before even before uh, the oil is heated, you can already start putting in your sambal inside. And you don't want to use high heat, yeah? Use uh, medium heat to slowly saute your sambal. Oh, super fragrant. Or some people start to uh, scold up, uh, I better change to wooden spatula. Oh, this is super fragrant. Forgot to own my hood. Uh, okay, now you have to give some patience to this particular process. Slowly, uh, slowly cook this until the oil started to break and the colors turns darken and you need to keep on stirring the bottom yeah <coughs> if not <coughs> I'm sorry it's a bit choking you don't want your sambal uh, to uh, get burned at the bottom here and I don't mind giving a little bit more oil actually the more oil you you put in uh, the easier it is Okay, use medium heat to slowly saute this. Keep on doing the stirring for a couple of minutes, okay? We will come back shortly. Okay, this is after about three, four minutes of uh, slowly sauteing. You start seeing my oil started to break. Now I'm going to season the sambal, yeah, the grilled fish sambal with some uh, salt. 
okay, a pinch of salt and some sugar, slightly more sugar, yeah. Okay, so this is a spicy dish. It's always okay um, to put a bit more sugar. I think I put in total probably about a table to uh, a tablespoon to slightly more than a tablespoon of sugar here. I think two tablespoons also is fine. I'm going to give it a bit of uh, light soya sauce. Okay, continue saute this for another a couple of minutes, then it is done. Okay, when the sugar started to caramelize, you will start seeing uh, it gets uh, the, the color will get darker and darker. Now, um, the Actually, outside they will start adding water to dilute this, and probably uh, will will make will will do the oil uh, separate uh, oil separate uh, process a couple of times. Uh, but to me, I don't like you adding too much water into my sambal. Okay, I prefer to add oil. Yeah, so oil will actually uh, make my uh, sambal balacan a lot more intense flavor instead of uh, being diluted okay i'm just going to continue slow uh, saute this for another two three minutes then it is done okay, okay after another three four minutes slowly sorting uh, i tasted just now it's a little bit spicy so i added more um, uh, sugar yeah so now it's just nice soury and a bit of sweet yeah at the same time okay our sambal uh, grilled fish is done okay so here's my sambal grilled fish I'm going to use this to uh, put on my grilled fish later and also to use the same uh, sambal to stir fry uh, ladies finger yeah okay my fish after grilling under 250 degrees Celsius oh super hot be careful every time when you open your oven yeah this is for about close to about 20 minutes of course uh, if you want faster just go and uh, fry fry your fish they will be a lot faster we'll cut at least uh, cut down half of the time oh yes not sure if you can see my fish let me zoom in for you fish is sh surely uh, fully cooked right now oh I think I need another I need my helper to take it's very hot <laughs> okay so here's my grilled fish ikan bakar it will be better if you have the banana leaf yeah it will give you extra flavor I'm just going to take the sambal to put on top give it some chili oil you will want some chili oil on this okay so here's my uh, ik, uh, ikan baka uh, and i'm showing you how to make the chili paste if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come to cooking up Facebook fan page to click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking up on youtube channel thank you very much bye bye